Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, on the 11th of November, I posted a video letting you know that Microsoft had announced that the Windows Mail and Calendar app will stop working on the 31st of December 2024. And that means that you will no longer be able to send and receive email using Windows Mail and the Calendar app. And that video will be linked down below and in the end screen if you would be interested. Now, as you can see, obviously, today we are already on the 3rd of January 2025 in my region. So that means that the Mail and Calendar app are now past the end of support, which according to Microsoft should have ended a couple of days ago on the 31st of December last year. And just a quick heads up, although they are still working, just to let you know that they could stop working at any moment. And this is all according to Windows Latest, who has spotted that despite the deadline having um, passed the 31st of December, the Mail and Calendar app is still working um, despite the claims that Microsoft made in the support document regarding end of support being on the 31st of December 2024. Now, there could be a reason why although Microsoft had confirmed and announced that the 31st would be the deadline for end of support and that the mailing calendar app would stop working, there could be a reason why if you are using the mailing calendar app, I'm not. I've uninstalled that long ago from my system. But if you are, there could be a reason why it is still working. And that's because Microsoft is so-called still on holiday. It's still very quiet over in the Microsoft camp, but I'm sure from next week and even the week after that things should start getting back to normal over at Microsoft. So just a quick video once again to give you a heads up that if you are still using mailing calendar, and by the way, just let me know down in the comments if you are still using it and everything is still working fine. You can send and receive emails and so on. I'd like to see if this is region specific or it's just one report or if it's globally, let me know down in the comments if things are still working with your mail-in calendar. But just a video to give you a heads up that these apps could stop working at any moment. I would suggest if they are still working now that over the next couple of days, um, they could uh, start working again. So if you are still using the mail-in calendar app, you should, I think, start exporting your emails and contacts and import them into the new Outlook app. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll leave this support article by Microsoft on how to export emails and contacts from Windows Mail or People and import them into the new Outlook. I'll leave this uh, link down below because it will give you all the information you would need. Now, something else that was spotted is that the mail-in calendar is still working. And if we head into our settings in the new Outlook and we head over to the general section and about... If you still are using Mail-in Calendar, as mentioned, I'm not. But if you are, you should see an option here to still switch back to the Mail-in Calendar via the settings general about Outlook in the Outlook, the new Outlook for Windows app. So that's another indication that's been spotted that the Mail-in Calendar hasn't stopped working yet. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know if your mailing calendar is still working i'd like to know but just giving you a quick heads up guys like we like to do on the channel if you haven't made a plan yet it's time to start making a plan either by moving across to another email client or by exporting your data across to the new outlook for windows because that um, deadline so to speak could happen at any moment now so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one